Malta will be hosting next week on the 17th and 18th of January the 15th meeting of the Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the 5 plus 5 dialogue. The 5 plus 5 is also known as the Western Mediterranean Dialogue. This meeting is an informal gathering bringing together the Western Mediterranean shores, France, Italy, Malta, Portugal and Spain from the north, and Algeria, Libya, Mauritania, Morocco and Tunisia from the south. Together with these countries, uh, a number of observer partners comprising the European Union, the Union for the Mediterranean, the Arab Maghreb Union, the Parliamentary Assembly for the Mediterranean, and also the Anna Lind Foundation. Uh, the latter is an international organization shared by 43 Euro-Mediterranean countries to bring people together and promote intercultural dialogue. This is the remit of the Anna Lind Foundation. Now, what is the aim of the 5 plus 5 dialogue? The aim is to secure closer cooperation between Southern European and also Maghreb countries, aiming at improving regional cooperation and integration in the Mediterranean. At the moment, Malta is co-presiding co together with Algeria, the 5 plus 5 dialogue for a period of two years. This will be the second foreign affairs meetings, ministers meeting under the 5 plus 5 framework to be hosted here uh, by, by Malta. The last one was held in 2005. And in 2012, Malta also hosted the summit of the heads of state and government of the 5 plus 5. This sub-regional framework is very important in the context of security and also stability in the region as it seeks to promote confidence building and information exchange in the Western Mediterranean. Now, the theme of this meeting, as I said, which is taking place next week, the theme is working together a sustainable future for the Western Mediterranean. This is the general theme, but this theme encompasses a number of areas and we will be focusing on issues of common interest. It will be an exercise, exercise of an exchange of views on matters of regional importance, namely migration, the Middle East peace process, the situation in Libya, and also climate change. So these are four items that will be discussed under the main theme of working together a sustainable future for the Western Mediterranean. The meeting, the meeting will also seek to address opportunities that can be tapped on important and highly re relevant issues such as sustainable development and the role of young people. And lastly, since youth is one of the major themes, foreign ministers and head of delegations uh, will also be meeting prior to the start of the plenary session with young leaders participating at the Seminar for Young Mediterranean Voices. This is the flagship youth-led debate program coordinated by the Anna Lind Foundation. And this meeting is also co-funded by the European Commission. So before we start the proceedings um, in the 5 plus 5 format, before we start that, we are going to have a meeting with uh, the um, uh, representatives from the uh, youth leaders, the young leaders that are going to um, attend for a seminar um, with the name Young Mediterranean Voices. The aim of this convergence will be to exchange views on the policy contents emerging from youth-led dialogue and debate in the Mediterranean. Definitely the Mediterranean remains at the essence of Malta's external relations dossier with the overall objective of bringing peace, stability and sustainable growth in our region. Basically, this is the uh, information that we wanted to exchange with you regarding the important meeting, as we see it, of the 5 plus 5 dialogue, uh, which is going to happen next week on the 17th and 18th of January, um, with the focus being on, on youth, uh, migration 
and uh, climate change, apart from uh, the issue of the Middle East, which, is, which, which also has an impact on the Mediterranean region. Now, I will be, 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 be very pleased to take uh, your questions, if you have any questions. Um, I'm accompanied by the Permanent Secretary um, in the Foreign Affairs Ministry, Ms. Fiona Formos, on my uh, right, and on my left, um, Director, External Relations and Mediterranean Affairs, Lord uh, Bonelli.